So this right here is a keyboard that I'm not sure is the kind of keyboard that I usually talk about on this page. It's not mechanical, it's not even membrane, it's not even used for typing. Hold on a minute, that's not mechanical! It's for music production. This right here is the Atura Mini Lab Mark II. It is a compact MIDI keyboard. If you don't know what the MIDI keyboard is, it's kind of like an input device that inputs music controls for your computer, so it's great for music production. And a compact MIDI keyboard is generally what most people recommend you start with when you're trying to get into music production. And honestly, I think the Atura Mini Lab Mark II is the best in class, best in its price range for anyone looking at a MIDI keyboard to get into music production. So there's a pretty interesting story about this keyboard to me. It's quite sentimental before I start talking about the product itself. So back in 2019, you would know if you're a long-time viewer, I know most people who support me and watch my videos nowadays aren't long-time viewers, but back in 2019, I was on a hiatus. I only uploaded like one or two videos and back then, it was because I had to study for A-levels and my parents basically banned me from making YouTube videos. The thing about YouTube videos is they subscribe to me, so they know when I upload, they know when I make content. I had all that creative energy from not making YouTube videos, I had to channel it somewhere, and what ended up happening was I basically ended up teaching myself music production, and I was really, really into it, really, really obsessed with it. And by the end of it, I was making three, four, five different beats a day. Most of them were crap, but I was slowly improving, and you know, it was satisfying to do. I had all that energy I needed to expel it, that creative juices need to go somewhere. So instead of sit, spending five, six hours making a YouTube video a week. Uh, I was spending 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 hours making music beats every single day, which is probably why I didn't do that well for A-levels, alongside a plethora of other many terrible reasons that I don't really want to harp over at this point in my life, because that was way in the past. But yeah, uh, music production, me learning it, was a side effect of me being banned from making YouTube videos. However, I do like making videos quite a bit more, so I switched back to making YouTube videos once I was free from the crutches of exams, and uh, that's why you're seeing me make a YouTube video right now. But that kind of music production journey was what got me to buy the Atura Mini Lab Mark II. I actually did a lot of research before buying this, and I was really curious to find out which is the best, and having tried all the major ones, from Novation to M-Code to Akai to this, I can conclusively say that this is the best in its class, in its like mid-range, budget, compact MIDI keyboard, and for a couple of very, very good Reason. So let's just jump straight to why this is better than the others and we'll talk about what's kind of the weak points to it at the end. So why is this better than the others? Number one is the design. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. It fits any sleek, decent studio setup. It's an inspiration because it looks so cool and it's really darn beautiful. I mean, Archie Rias hit it out of the ballpark with their design. From the accented like brush, wood-like plastic on the side, to the nice tasteful logos on the back, to the sleek piano back keys with the matte back plastic, to the very neat, symmetrical, satisfying layout. I really like the look of this. It really looks gorgeous and in a studio, you know, it's all about vibes and inspiration and having this good looking keyboard on your desk, it's gonna help out, definitely. Number two, it has the most buttons, knobs, dials, features out of all the keyboards in its price range. For example, you can have both modulation and detune adjusted at the same time because they have these two touch strips here. I know some people like the springy mechanical detune knob more, but I personally think that the touch detune knob feels really, really awesome. It's really fun to use. And the fact that you have both detune and modulation separate is much better than having to decide between one or the other with a single fixed knob on the side, which is the case with the, which is the case with the Novation as well as the M Audio keyboard. I think on the Akai it's also a touch strip, so that's, oh no, on Akai it's even worse. It's like this XY knob here, which is which is an atrociously hard thing to use. It's got the most buttons, like it's got eight drum pads, which is standard for pretty much this caliber of MIDI keyboard, but you can actually have it programmed to 16 different drum settings because you can then hit this button and go from one to eight to eight to 16 pad. So you can save two drum options to each drum pad, which is super, super convenient as well. You can completely control your music software like Ableton without touching your mouse and keyboard, just completely from this controller by using these two knobs because they are also clicky. So you can select things with them. You can scroll and decide on which setting you're adjusting with them, which is really convenient and can allow you to stay focused because you're just controlling every single thing from the keyboard itself. I really do like this feature. Unfortunately, I'm an FL Studio user and to my knowledge, it still doesn't support this feature, which is unfortunate. And more than just that, you can hit this shift button and you can basically use these, the actual piano keys as well as the drum pad and program it 
it in Arturia software to launch different VSTs and different programs depending on what software you're using. So FL Studios doesn't support this. They have terrible MIDI controller, MIDI keyboard support. I think they're working on it, but it's been two years and they still haven't added the features I really want, so whatever. But if you're using Ableton, if you're using Logic, if you're using Arturia's own software, you can program these buttons to launch certain instruments, to do certain functions in Arturia software, which is awesome, uh, especially if your music production software supports it. So you can hit shift and you know, you can hit this button which is programmed to Analog Lab by default and it will launch a Trurious VST which is quite well known called Analog Lab. And speaking of which, reason three of why you should get this keyboard, well, because it comes with a very sizable sound library. It comes with a free version of Analog Lab but it's not free as in everyone gets it, it's free as in it's just well, you don't have to pay extra for it. It's not the full version of Analog Lab but it does have quite a good number of sounds and tunability and it really is quite a useful VST to have in your arsenal so that's another good reason to get this. Now the next reason to get this is absolutely the build quality of this thing. I mean this is the best built MIDI keyboard in its class and there I say it's one of the best built MIDI keyboards in its size range no matter the price. Like the base is aluminium, the plastics feel premium, there's no flex, it's super hyper rigid, it's built properly like a tank. Even the keys themselves and everything, all the buttons, assembly, clicky switches and stuff, it feels really, really, really good in all aspects. Oh, and did I mention that these drum pads, they're RGB, so you can program the color so that you can remember what settings they're in. RGB is always a nice touch. I really do like the piano keys on the Arturo Mini Lab. It is very, very good feeling. Like, it feels better than the Akai. Quite well-weighted, quite springy relative to its competition, so that is awesome as well. So I, as you can tell, I really like this I really like this MIDI keyboard and uh, I have used Novation and the Akai and the M-Audio. I own them and I sold them. I bought them secondhand and I sold them secondhand. I didn't like them as much as I did like this. So I've tested them all and this is genuinely the best for those few reasons. So then it sounds all fine and dandy, sounds all amazing. What are the drawbacks? Because nothing is perfect, especially MIDI keyboards. Well, one of those things is that it doesn't have full-size keys. The keys might be a little bit small, so if you're big fat chunky fingers like I am and you're not the most skilled pianist, I'm not skilled at all. I just mess around a little bit with samples and chop them up on the piano keys. If you're not the most skilled and you have fat fingers, then the small keys are going to be an issue. Another thing is that the piano back plastic of the keys scratch up very easily and because you're most likely going to be playing the keys almost with your nails, touching the keys, what's going to end up happening is it's going to scratch and it's going to be pretty obvious. Uh, and it's just something that you have to deal with because when you're playing these keys, you're almost always using your nails because it's they're so small, they're so narrow. As much as they're well sprung and feel pretty nice, they're there's problems with that. Uh, another thing about this keyboard, of course, is that it's a, for a compact MIDI keyboard, it's quite sizable. I mean, it's about the same size as the M Audio options, but it is much fatter than, say, an OP1, which is way more expensive than this, or an Akai, an MPK Mark III. So if you want the Akai, you need the portability. It's smaller, it's not as good in every single shape or form, but the MPK is a lot more compact and a lot more portable. Uh, so you see a lot of producers using that instead because it's just easy to bring around, which, which makes perfect sense. And also that I think both Arturia and Akai sell a version of their MIDI keyboards where it's just, where it's literally just the key. So if you don't need the knobs, you don't need the drum bits, you can get that. And I actually recommend the Arturia version over the Akai one because the keys feel better on the Arturia as well. And you get Analog Lab, which is awesome. Yeah, this is the Arturia Mini Lab Mark II. What do you think? I think this is an awesome MIDI keyboard. If you're a beginner music producer or you're just someone who's looking for a MIDI keyboard to upgrade to and get a nicer, compact one for your setup, this is absolutely the best in class, absolutely the best choice, hands down. Like, there are very few reviews I do where I don't go, it's the best, but, but in this case, this is absolutely the best with a singular exception and that is size. If it's too big for you, then you might have to get something else. But if it fits your setup, this is conclusively, hands down, the best choice MIDI keyboard out of all of them in its class. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I don't really review music stuff. I'm no professional musician, but from a perspective of 
ergonomics, tech and PC accessories. I think this fits in with the theme of the channel perfectly. Uh, and don't worry, next week's video will be about a mechanical keyboard and the video after that will be about another prism monitor and the video after that will be about Aftershock PC. So subscribe for those videos. PC gaming content is still here to stay. It's just this week we're doing a little bit different, a little bit interesting. I know some of you will enjoy it. Shout out to Temka who's been trying his best to improve in music production. Keep working at it. I, I have faith in you. To, to do really well as time goes on. So, so keep practicing, keep learning, and I know there will be some music producers, music production viewers in my audience. So to those people, um, it's all about the grind, so all the best. Uh, I'm not chasing a career in music. I understand the hustle. I have music producer friends. I'll see you guys next time. Follow for more, subscribe, you know, you know the YouTube drill. Instagram is where I host giveaways now, Discord as well, if you have any questions, blah, blah, blah. See you guys next time. Bye.